Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. I hope you will listen to this very special announcement. We thank the Almighty God that at long last, all the governors have uh, decided to open up places of worship. Uh, the implication of that, at least here in Nigeria, is that by the grace of God, uh, your pastors will resume their duties. And uh, I want to encourage you that you get back to all the churches, go back for fellowship, and uh, begin to enjoy the benefits of corporate prayers again. You know, the Almighty God said in His Word in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, Hebrews 10, verse 25, that we should not forsake the assembling together of one another. Now, there will be those who will talk to you and say, well, why don't you continue to stay at home? And uh, after all, you can pray at home and God will hear you. Yeah, I agree that uh, anywhere you cry unto him, he will answer. But he says specifically in Matthew chapter 21, verse 13, Matthew 21, verse 13, that his house is called the house of prayers. In other words, he himself designated the house of God as the place where you pray and the answer will come fast. That's the reason why you find uh, David saying in Psalm 122 verse 1, Psalm 122 verse 1, he said, I was glad when they said unto me, let's go into the house of the Lord. Because he knows that in the house of the Lord, when you get into his house, you will be in his presence, and in his presence there is a fullness of joy. When you go to the house of the Lord, you go to the house of the great physician. And you can go and guarantee uh, that when you cry unto him for healing, he will be there to make you whole. When you go to the house of the Lord, you can be sure you are going to the house of the one who is called the all-sufficient God. Genesis chapter 17 verse 1. And so you go to the house of the Lord and you can be sure that all your needs will be met. Then you go to the house of the Lord and you enjoy, like I said earlier, the power, the resource of corporate praying. If you go through the scriptures, you will find, for example, in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, from verse 1 to 4, Acts chapter 2, from verse 1 to 4, that when they were in one accord and they prayed together, there was the, an, a, a, an earthquake kind of shaking in the house. You will notice again, if you go further to Acts of the Apostles chapter 4 verse 31, Acts 4 verse 31, that when they gathered again together to pray, another shaking took place. You go through the rest of the scriptures, you will find that, yes, do you could pray as individuals, but if you really want earth-shaking experience that will come from corporate anointing, you will need to be together in the house of the Lord. And the reason I'm explaining that to you is this. You see, because the lockdown is over in Nigeria, glory be to God, but I still have many children in countries all over the world. I'm sure you know by the grace of God, we are in more than 190 nations. And some of these nations are yet to open up or to release people to go to the house of worship. So for their sake, I still need to continue to preach every Sunday to them. But the preaching will no longer be in the morning because you will be in the church. I will deliberately delay that one till the afternoon so that after you return from the church, if you want to participate in the preaching that will be going to the rest of the world under lockdown, you can still queue in. But if you say, oh, that is going to preach in the afternoon, therefore I won't go to church, you'll be robbing yourself of all the blessings of corporate worship. 
I will advise you, however, that please, when you go to our places of worship, you observe all the protocol of uh, the pandemic. We are ready for you, the places where you can wash your hands, you have people who will make uh, sanitizers available to you free of charge, uh, and then come wearing your mask, and the Almighty God will bless you mightily. So, by the grace of God, probably from 2 p.m. every Sunday for the next few weeks, we will still be ministering uh, to our people all over the world who might still be in lockdown. That should not be used as an excuse for not going to the church. Uh, the Bible says, if you know these things, blessed are ye if you do them. God be with you. And I also want to add, by the way, that because the lockdown in, had been lifted, by the special grace of God, the Holy Ghost service of September will be taking place at Redemption Camp. I will see you then. God bless you mightily.